the United States of America, land of the free and home of the brave, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Or so we thought. Just days before the election, three to be exact, and voter fraud already cropping up in many of the races in the key states. And every year, thousands of people do vote in but more than one million, state. not three million, not millions. So you have people registered in two states who are dead, who are illegals, who are in two states. As of the 2016 election, 33 states had enacted some sort of voter identification law. Such laws claim to be aimed at countering voter fraud and double voting. But whose votes do these laws really suppress? Let's take a look. I just turned 18 last year. This is my first time voting in an election. I'm very excited. Uh, just registered to vote, man. Really excited about this year's election, so you know I had to stop in and vote. Do you have your ID on you today? I do, yes. Here you go. Um, so unfortunately, we don't take student ID. Do you have a government issued photo ID, uh, like a driver's license? I don't. I so how's your experience voting today? Uh, so I actually didn't even get to vote. Now what was so democratic about that? Let's try that again. All right, well you're in the right place. Can I get your first and last name and date of birth, please? Muhammad Wainwright, 119.96. Okay, you're all set. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Go in there and they'll take care of you. Now don't you think everyone's voting experience should be like this? The reality is that 11% of Americans don't have a government issued photo ID. That's more than 21 million people. And the problem is even worse for minorities. 25% of African American citizens of voting age don't have a government issued photo ID. You should care about this issue because either your vote or your friend's vote or your family's vote is being suppressed by voter ID laws and cross check lists that purge thousands of votes a year. And this is all coming from politicians who care about their interests and not yours. Voter fraud isn't the problem. Voter suppression is. Get the facts here.